Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Geekta. Today we will be solving a problem from SBA PO 2020 question paper. Study the given information carefully and answer the questions that follow. The table given below shows the capacity of 5 buses A, B, C, D, E and the percentage of seats that were filled out of the total seating capacity of the buses. So this is the bus name, total seating capacity and the percentage of seats filled. Some of the data is missing and is denoted as NA, not available. So the data is not available for bus D and E. Note. The total number of vacant seats in all the five buses together were 40 and the number of seats in buses D and E together were 65. So, first let's find the data for D and E. So, here it is bus, total seats, filled seats and vacant seats. So, for the bus A, the total seat here is 20 whereas 60% is filled which means 6 times 2 is 12. So the vacant seat is 20 minus 12. Total seats minus the filled seats which is 8. Now for bus B, total seats available is 30. Out of this 30, 80% is filled which is 8 times 3 is 24 and 30 minus 24 is 6. And for bus C, total seating capacity is 15. Out of this 15, 60% seat is filled, which is 15 times 60 by 100. 0, 0 gets cancelled and simplifying this answer will be 9. And the difference is 15 minus 9 is 6. So the vacant seats available in bus C is 6. For bus D, the total seating capacity is not available. So which is, you can take it as X or D anything. And the percentage of seats filled here is 70%, which means remaining 30% of the seats of total seats D is vacant and for bus E again the total seats capacity is not available which is I am taking it as E you can take it as X Y anything is fine 6 6 percentage is filled which means it can be rounded off to 67 percentage and vacant seat will be like remaining 33 percent which is 100 minus 67 is 33 percent of seats which is E. Now from the note here the total number of vacant seat in all the five buses together. This total back, total number of vacant seat in all these five buses together is 40, which means for bus A, B, C, it is 8 plus 6 plus 6 is 20. So the remaining 20 seats will be from 30% of D plus 33% of E. From B, the number of seats in buses D and E together. The total seats from D and E is 65. So which is D plus E equals 65 and 30% of D plus 33% of E equals 20 which is 30% is 30 by 100 of us times D plus 33% is 33 by 100 of us times E equals 20. So this can be simplified as 3 by 10 D plus 33 by 100 is 1 by 3 E equals 20. This is approximately which is 33 1 times is 33 and 33 3 times is 99. And so the LCM is for 10 and 3 is 30. So 10 3 times is 30. 3 times 3 is 9D plus 3 10 times is 30. 10 times 1 is 10E equals 20. So which is 9D plus 10E equals 30 times 20 is 600. First equation here is D plus E equals 65. Now to simplify this, to find the value of D and E, we can either multiply by 9 or 10. Any time is fine. But I am using 10 here as it will be easier. So multiply this entire equation by 10. So which is 10D plus 10E equals 650. 65 times 10 is 650. And this equation which is 9D plus 10 E equals 600. Changing the signs, we are going to cancel this, which is plus is changed as minus, minus and minus. So cancelling this E terms, which is D. 10 minus 9 is D. 1 D equals 650 minus 600 is 50. So which means D is equals 50. Now substitute this D in any of these equations. I am going to substitute in this equation, which is D plus E equals 65. So which is D is 50, 50 plus E equals 65. So 50 goes on the other side which means E equals 65 minus 50 becomes 50. So now we know the value D and E. So substitute this values here which is D equals 50 and E equals 15. 
So 70% of 50 is 35 and E is 15 and 67% of 15 is 10. So now the remaining 30% of D is 50 minus 35 or you can directly do as 30% of 50. Anything is fine by which it is. This is 15 and this is 33% of 15 or 15 minus 10 is 5. We will be solving 63rd problem from SBI PO 2020 question paper. If 20% of the seats in bus E were occupied by people aging above 60, 40% were occupied by females and 50% were occupied by males aging below 60. What was the number of seats occupied by females aging above 60? So the data we have found for E here is total seats is 15 and filled seats is 10 and vacant seats is 5. So, so the data for bus we have here is total seats is 15, filled seats is 10 and vacant seats is 5. From the first sentence, 20% of the seats in bus E were occupied by people aging above 60. That is, it's occupied by the people above 60 which is 20%. So the filled seats here is 10 which is 20% of 10 seats is filled by people above 60 which is 20 by 100 times 10 or 2 times 1 directly you can do this which is 2. So, the seats filled by people above 60 years 2. From the second sentence, 40% of seats were occupied by females. So, which means females occupied 40% of seats. That is 40% of 10, which is 4 times 1 is 4. Which means out of this 10 seats, females occupied 4 seats. Which means male occupied out of this 10 minus 4. That is out of this 10 seats, Females occupied 4 seats which means the remaining 6 seats is occupied by males. Next from the next sentence and 50% were occupied by male aging below 60. So now males less than 60 occupy 50% of the seats. That is 50% of 10 seats were occupied by males less than 60 which is 5 times 1 is 5. Or 50 by 100 times 10, 0, 0 gets cancelled, 0, 0 gets cancelled, which is 5. So, which means 5 seats is occupied by males less than 60. So, the total means here is 6, out of which males less than 60 occupied 5 seats. So, 6 minus 5 is 1 male, 1 male occupied seat above 60 which means out of this two seats one seat is occupied by one male whereas the remaining one seat would have been occupied by the two minus one is one female above 60. So the question here is what was the number of seats occupied by females aging above 60 which is one. Thanks for watching if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments.